good afternoon to all uh, this is the first time we are organizing such a meet in this university based uh, on behalf of the university and vice chancellor i am welcoming you all to this meeting and this time actually this is organized for a specific program and the uh, program will be introduced by professor rajiv kapoor professor of electronics and communications thank you and uh, welcome again to all of you uh, and uh, actually especially when uh, when we talk about this conference uh, conferences are generally held is quite common but why this is special so that's a big question but before i start i will uh, let you know that uh, uh, let me give uh, uh, you know all the kudos for all this effort and the vision to our vice chancellor sir the idea is the moment he joined he had a very excellent vision regarding upgrading this and not lifting of the dt to the highest possible level and the highest possible level is the world standards us rankings and it should be known worldwide so that was the question before all of us and we really loved his uh, first lecture when he addressed the whole institution and that brought the transformation also and from there we started actually thinking regarding whatever experiences we had and whatever we had done till now why not to put it into a system in such a manner so that this system now brings the uplifts the academic level of the mm -hmm. students plus it puts the you know big mark on this in the society regarding that dtu now should be known as a uh, institution which serves the society you must have seen you know right you know that there are so many universities but all those universities are they actually for which they are meant for are they really able to do it do they have any impact on the nearby people or at least the people of the region so that's where uh, is the you know basic intent of the conference and plus few more things like you know i would like to add to this uh, and uh, that is uh, why this is a unique conference how it can actually uh, do this big you know objective so the idea is that uh, uh, taking projects from as such industries or from the government is again is not a new thing but taking a project from a private industry a very small scale industry who have very hardcore time bound objectives they cannot survive they don't deliver in a given time so that was something really a challenging task and i will again you know further congratulate my students and uh, my other fellow teachers who are ready to take this challenge and under the leadership of our honorable uh, vice chancellor professor pratik sharma ji and to take it to the highest possible level and we are really determined to do this so with these words i will you know uh, uh, is uh, the crux of the this uh, uh, conference this is what i have tried to explain <coughs> and uh, of course technically because we have got almost 1.63 crores worth of uh, the project uh, proposals and plus expression of interest from almost eight industries which is in the queue so it means there is a large number of there are large number of uh, industries societies even including ndnc is also ready to give us the project and many other small small intelligent board and many other you know, they are also coming and uh, going to give us the project so this is how we are going to serve delhi in the nearby region uh, in two sense so thanks again for coming here and now you know thank you Thank you, Professor Kapoor. Thank you, Professor Ayu. So, first of all, 
I would like to welcome all uh, all uh, the media persons and people from the media and from various channels and uh, both media, electronic and print media. And as you know, Professor Kapoor has already mentioned about you know what the purpose of this conference is. In fact, you know uh, this is something you know uh, which uh, you would realize that. You know, especially an institution like Delhi Technological University, which has created its own legacy in terms of providing quality education in terms of engineering and technology. Uh, you know, unless and until you know, usually what happens is the the students that we train, they go in various industry, you know, contribute in the normal industrial processes, and obviously, and in certain cases, they do their masters in management or you know. Completely change over of from whatever they have studied in engineering, or you know, uh, it's a altogether a different domain of managing. Similarly, if you students, they go to civil services, so that is also a way of you know serving the the, the society. But you know, but the idea was basically how the primary training that the institution impart imparts, which is the technology engineering education, how that can be utilized to solve the societal problem. so you know and therefore and there is a and obviously the students if you typically compare with the, the engineering education with the medical education you find gross differences between the two in the sense that the moment the a student who enters the medical education in the first year itself uh, you know uh, is directly dealing with the the target audience which in this case is patient and he or she is basically exposed to you know the the person that he has to serve or whatever you know the has to contribute and for which he is gaining his knowledge or her knowledge throughout the period of four and a half years so there is a direct one to one you know interaction with the with the with the patient and the opd visits are there so the learning is hands on so so the from second year itself the the, the student is is please you know gaining the knowledge and also you know in the bargain is also contributing uh, you know Uh, whatever skill he or she acquires uh, in engineering uh, education, you know uh, the uh, opportunity to contribute to the industrial processes happens during the internship program that the student goes. Uh, that too is not so. That happens after say second year in certain cases, after third year in certain cases, and later on the student basically comes in the fourth year, does a Project B Tech project in their discipline, ranging from specific problems related to a particular engineering domain or discipline, comes up with the report, and that report goes in the library. And if uh, somebody is research oriented, one is able to publish the uh, the paper in terms of you know these are the indicators which you uh, you know uh, are uh, considered as the indicators of uh, you know uh, both for the faculty members also and for the student also. uh and obviously this is uh, this has its own uh, what we call as incubation period in which you know the knowledge that is getting getting created it takes a while for you know come into actionable uh, execution of uh, you know the research uh, that has been undertaken uh, uh but then on the other hand uh, you know we uh, felt that unless and until we as an institution are able to harness the potential and the energy and the enthusiasm of the one of the best brains that the institution is able to attract and channelize their energies to identify first of all identify the societal problems and utilize their engineering skills which they have acquired over a period of time and contribute to ident to providing solutions to the uh, societal problems in various domains of engineering that basically the institution has excel so in fact we had a initial uh, you know discussion with faculty members and obviously professor kapoor professor mini dr rajesh professor rajesh and others also and in fact uh, initially you know uh, we thought that you know uh, let us do something in the area of you know identifying problems related to rural sector where say for example you know uh, even i uh, before coming to this you know and uh, rural sector and then uh, contribute in addressing the challenges faced by the villagers say for example providing uh, you know access to clean energy providing a hygiene uh, clean water sanitation 
So these are the challenges which you know differentiate uh, the rural areas, uh, uh, the urban areas, and the rural. The gap. This is the gap that exists. But we actually during the discussion within the institution, we uh, actually it was uh, basically suggested by faculty members like Professor Kapoor and others that urban areas also have their own challenges and problems. That of you know solid waste management. You know, say for example, traffic congestion. And similar problems that one can actually identify for which you know technological interventions are required, and the the executive and the policy makers are actually looking for solutions to you know those problems. And obviously, because of the limitation of you know uh, the the executive and you know people who are involved in policy making and execution, you know uh, the the process remains the same conventional one. So the idea was to have you know identify problems uh, and the challenges both in the urban and rural domain, and convert those problems into say BTEC projects or non-BTEC projects, and you know or minor projects depending on the magnitude enormity of the problem. And then you know uh, in the guidance and supervision of you know teachers, supervisors, you know the students actually work towards you know those problems through the uh, technological intervention. And then once the uh, the solution is basically identified at a smaller scale, and obviously it can be presented to scale up the same thing, and obviously it, uh, would uh, provide the necessary information for you know uh, for the solution to a particular problem. And obviously later on, this is something I'm just uh, spelling out exactly, stating out what exactly in the long run we intend to do, and then you know collaborate with industry to in order to scale it up. So that it becomes, and also with the relevant ministries and uh, uh, the executing bodies, urban local bodies, panchayati, uh, panchayats, and so that you know the interventions can be uh, made. And in fact, what we have observed, and you would also observe, that you know, the, we don't re need you know rocket science. We just need global innovations, small innovations, something different which others have not actually thought about, and providing. Cheap technological interventions through which the solutions can be provided. One classical example is of Jaipur Foot, you know, where you know at a very cheap cost. If you see the orthopedic industry, you know, I mean, so much costs of implants you would find in which come from the you know the, from the developed countries. So, but these into small small interventions have changed the character of the entire people who get amputated amputated through you know these uh, innovations. So that is what basically. Likewise, you know, there are several areas there which can be identified, and on which you know we can actually uh, work. Uh, the students, we can tap the enthusiasm and energy of the students and the wisdom of teachers. So that is what basically the the idea was, and then you know uh, come up with certain findings and recommendations, and share with uh, you know with with people who matter, and certainly I mean, in order to help. Uh, us, uh, the best mechanism is to reach out to the media so that you know the society gets to know that what is being done here and how the technological interventions are basically helping in finding out the solutions uh, of the uh, the problems being faced by the society. So that was the broad, you know, the which Professor Kapoor also mentioned. This was the basic premise and uh, idea and the best way of you know reaching out to the society and to you know, popularize a cheap technology which is robust and which is also providing solution and which is indigenous is to basically utilize the 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 most very powerful uh, you know uh, vertical which is the uh, I would say the fourth pillar of democracy which is the press and media and that was the idea of you know reaching out to you uh, so this these are the these are the these are the these were the thoughts. With which the entire uh, exercise was initiated, and the first uh, step in this case was to organize a conference at a uh, at a small scale, and gradually, you know, we have also established a center for community development and research, which we are going to formalize, and then all these initiatives which are being taken by people like Professor Rajesh, Professor Kapoor, Professor Hindu will be integrated that with that center, and then you know, in times to come. We, you know, we'll we'll reach out uh, to you know uh, uh, to again identify the problems and provide uh, technological 
intervention and solutions to find out the you know the problems that both uh, you know rural and urban sector is facing. So these are you know these, these, this is the intent, this is the objective of having this workshop, and I'm very happy. I will be happy to respond any you know any 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 uh, any observation or any questions or clarification. So, uh, one, one more thing I wanted to add actually. Uh, basically, this was started with Sir's initiative only. He said that we should reach the media. So. We are actually we may be plan we are planning at least once in a month a meeting so that we have made clusters of researches which is happening here. Like for example, science group is doing with materials, green and sustainable chemistry, conducting polymers, photonic method, lithium and batteries. All these things are actually for the sustainable development, which he has mentioned. Then we are doing actually within AI also research is going on, like drone technologies we are having and now drone is used everywhere for agricultural support or and then and man ground vehicle ground vehicle which can go and do see things come back with details so all these things for the betterment of the society so we have like electronics department computer science electrical engineering all of all the departments are doing in doing ai maybe uh, <coughs> it can support the power grid or connecting solar to the main grid so so many researches are going on and similarly in mechanical engineering department we have automobile biodiesel work on lubricants like that and in management side also there are a lot of work going on in economics data analytics and entrepreneurship so we will be uh, meeting you at least once in a month so that a one cluster who the research component can be discussed so that it can reach out the society. This was the aim given to us, and that way we have started. And uh, this happened to be the first meeting. And in fact, I'll just add one more thing to what she has mentioned. I'm just able to report. So usually, what happens is that the report that we publish or the paper that we publish, you know, is the the arm on the normal, you know, the, the person on the street. Uh, is not able to understand because uh, there are certain scientific jargons, locations that are there. So, you know, what we want is basically to convert that into a sort of a, uh, 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 in a manner which is basically understand understood by the, 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 the person on screen and, you know, the relevant stakeholder which is placed there. So that, you know, the, the, the jargon of science and mathematics which is involved is eliminated and, you know, the masses are able to understand the, the interventions that are given. जी आपने कहा काफी उसमें रिसर्च भी किया क्या कोई सर्विस प्रोवाइडर जो है खास तौर से एजुकेशन से जुड़े हुए काम कर रहे हैं बहुत सारे एनजीओज भी है उसकी भी सहायता ले रहे हैं आप अभी जैसे मैंने कहा अभी बहुत शुरुआती दिन है मतलब और अभी बहुत शुरुआती दिन है अभी तो एक आईडिया हमने फ्लोट किया है और जैसे हम आपसे मिल रहे हैं तो ऐसे हम जो भी इस हमारे ध्येय में जो भी हमारे को मदद करेगा या फिर उसको आगे बढ़ाने में करेगा उसको हम आगे उसके साथ जुड़ेंगे कितना एमओयू यू साइन होने के लिए चांसेस हैं अभी आपके और भी एमओयू तो जैसे मैंने आपको बताया तो ये इट्स ऑनगोइंग ऑनगोइंग है मेनली मेनली so they will result in the MOUs further. So MOU means that it's a kind of you know some product they want us to develop to design. So it's that. And you said uh, NGOs and all that. Yes. So uh, almost we have tried to call everyone. Okay. So I have told you that all the jitte bhi jaise koi kisko koshish kiye choda nahi hai. CA tak kula hai. Jaise ek CA ho gaya hai. It's like you know from all sides. So they can. नहीं उसमें नहीं उसमें आप जैसे सोशल सेक्टर पर काम कर रहे हैं तो बहुत सारे सर्विस प्रोवाइडर ऑलरेडी उस पर काम कर रहे हैं तो उससे आपके अगर होते हैं क्लेबरेशन तो ज्यादा लेते हैं सोशल सोसाइटी से जो लोग हैं जुड़े हुए जैसे गांव से उस तरह के लोग भी कुछ बुलाएं जो चार लोग अंतर आके बुलाएं स्मॉल स्केल इंडस्ट्रीज के लोग हैं जी जी जो एनजीओ से जुड़े हुए हैं तो वो भी इसमें एक तो बुलाएं टेक्नोलॉजी का इ
में एक और चीज में जोड़ूंगा जैसे देखिए प्रयास ये है जो कॉन्फ्रेंस के कॉन्टेक्स्ट में प्रयास ये है कोई भी अगर आप प्रॉब्लम या इशू लेते हैं उसमें खाली साइंटिफिक सोल्यूशन तक सीमित नहीं रहता है उसमें सोशल आस्पेक्ट्स भी होते हैं फाइनेंशियल आस्पेक्ट्स भी होते हैं लीगल आस्पेक्ट्स भी होते हैं इकोनॉमिक आस्पेक्ट्स भी होते हैं हेल्थ रिलेटेड आस्पेक्ट्स भी होते हैं तो प्रयास ये किया गया है कि ऐसा जो एक पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम है उसकी उसको मल्टीपल नजरिए से देखा जाए अलग अलग दृष्टिकोण से देखा जाए जिससे कि एक सिर्फ एक वन डायमेंशनल सोल्यूशन ना मिले उसका कॉम्प्रीहेंसिव हम सोल्यूशन बताए जो कि ओवरऑल प्रॉब्लम को प्रदीप कुमार मलयालम तो ये जो बच्चे डेवलप करेंगे सॉल्यूशन क्या वो स्टार्टअप होंगे छोटे छोटे ये जो ये जो मॉडल है ये हमने जो थोड़ा हट के बनाया है जैसे होता क्या है कि एक स्टार्टअप जो होता है उसमें क्या होता है एक स्टूडेंट्स है जो स्टूडेंट्स है वो अपने आप नॉलेज एक्वायर करके किसी मेंटर रख के उससे उसको कुछ बना रहे हैं अब होता क्या है कि आप देखो कि जो टेक्निकल जो स्टार्टअप्स होते हैं आप देखिए इंडिया में नहीं बन रहे बहुत कम हैं टेक्निकल स्टार्टअप्स अगर कुछ हैं तो वो फॉरन कोलाबोरेशन से चलते हैं तो कोई इंस्ट्रूमेंट डिजाइन नहीं हुआ तो आप देखेंगे शार्क टैंक में भी वो स्टार्टअप दूसरे तरह के हैं जो कि और तरह से रिलेटेड है टेक्निकल स्टार्टअप्स को बूस्ट करने के लिए हमें एक्सपर्ट्स प्रोफेशनल्स इसको मिलना पड़ेगा इवन जो आउटसाइड इंडिया के जो एक्सपर्ट्स हैं उनको भी ग्रुप में लगाया गया है तो मेरे पास न्यूज लेटर है मैं ऑलरेडी शेयर किया है उसमें सारे तरह के लोग तो हर मल्टी डिसिप्लिनरी अप्रोच लेके चला गया है तो आ, हर कोई हर चीज को नहीं कर सकता है बट मिल हम उसको कर सकते तो ये कॉन्सेप्ट से हम इसको सॉल्व करेंगे इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स डिजाइन करने के ऑर्डर्स मिले हैं इंडियन कंपनी है इंडिकेशन इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स फरीदाबाद की उन्होंने 25 लाख लाख उन्होंने दिए हैं इंस्ट्रूमेंट डिजाइन कर रहे हैं और वो एक इंस्ट्रूमेंट जो है हमारी लाखों करोड़ों की इम्पोर्ट को रोकेगा बचाएगा तो एडिशनली ये थिंकिंग हो गई और साथ में जो बच्चे हैं वो डिजाइन करना सीख नहीं तो डिजाइन जो होता है वो लैब तक नहीं पहुंचता है तो हम उसको लैब तक पहुंचाएंगे और जो वो पैसा देंगे कंपनी वाले वो बच्चों तक पहुंचेगा ये भी हमने अरेंजमेंट करा उनको चाहे हम थोड़ा थोड़ा करके उनमें बांटेंगे ताकि उनको भी बैठने का वो भी मोटिवेटेड है बहुत ज्यादा वो इसको करना भी चाहते हैं तो हम उनको ये सब मिल करना पड़ेगा अकेले नहीं कर सकते अलग है ये है इंक्यूबेशन बना के देना किसी तो ऐसा कुछ कोशिश कर अभी जो रहेगा ना जैसे डॉक्टर साहब ने बताया कि अभी तो हमारा शुरू का प्रयास है लेकिन दिशा हमारी वही है कि उसमें हम अगला स्टेप हमारा इंक्यूबेशन वाला पार्ट हुआ फिर हम वेंचर कैपिटलिस्ट को हमने आइडेंटिफाई करेंगे जो कि उसमें इन्वेस्ट कर सकें तो पहले तो अभी तो अभी तो शुरू के दिन है शुरू के दिनों में हमने देखा कि क्या क्या हम चीजें कर सकते हैं और कहाँ तक उसको कितनी अभी उसकी स्कोप कितना है लिमिटेशन कितनी है एडवांस कितना आगे वो प्रॉब्लम का सलूशन प्रोवाइड कर पाता है और फिर धीरे धीरे उसमें अपग्रेडेशन होगी और कुछ होगा और जब ऐसी स्थिति आएगी कि हम बच्चों को भी कॉन्फिडेंस हो और उनके सुपरवाइजर को भी बहुत ज्यादा कॉन्फिडेंस हो कि अब ये ऐसी स्थिति में आ गया है कि हम किसी वेंचर कैपिटलिस्ट को इन्वॉल्व करके ग्रुप्स को करके उसको आगे स्केल अप करें एक्सेलरेट करें और आगे ले, ले जाएं तो उस दिशा की तरफ ही हमारा पहला कदम है सॉरी पिचेस भी हैं इसमें तो बच्चे लोग जो हैं वो आपको इसमें नौ ऐसे ग्रुप्स होंगे जो आपको प्रोडक्ट्स बनाने के लिए सोसाइटी के लिए आइडेंटिफाई किए हैं और वो वहाँ जो प्रेजेंट लोग होंगे उनसे फंडिंग भी मांगेंगे और उसमें से जो भी उसमें से करना चाहे उनको बताएंगे दे विल एक्सप्लेन जी कोई ऐसा स्पेसिफिक
एक बड़ा कारण होता है तो उसको उसका जो वेस्ट है उसको मैनेज करने के लिए जो सरकार के एफर्ट्स हैं या कुछ दिशा में भी कुछ आने के लिए या करने की प्लानिंग है फ्यूचर में मैं एयर के बारे में तो मैं स्टेटस भी बताता हूँ क्योंकि मेरा एरिया ही है इसमें तो अभी यहाँ पे कुछ काम हो रहे हैं लेकिन जो अगर आप जो देखा जाए कि बहुत इलेबोरेट तरीके से बहुत कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव तरीके से काम किया जाए ऐसे काम करने की बहुत ज्यादा आवश्यकता है केवल हमको नहीं इवन आई टी डेली मान लीजिए जो अभी है वहां पर भी उस तरह से जो एक एयर पोल्यूशन की दिल्ली की समस्या है उसका कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव सोल्यूशन अगर हम देखें तो उसको इंटीग्रेटेड मैनर में हमको उसका वो करने का की आवश्यकता है जी और उसमें खासतौर पे जैसे मैं इस पर और थोड़ा सा एक बात बताऊंगा जैसे क्या है कि आप समस्या केवल खासतौर पे एयर के कॉन्टेक्स में जब आते हैं तो एक दिल्ली की समस्या केवल नहीं रहती है जैसे पानी का हम कॉन्सेप्ट जैसे वाटर शेड होता है तो वाटर शेड इज नॉट लिमिटेड टू अ पर्टिकुलर जोग्राफिकल सिटी तो वो आपकी मल्टीपल स्टेट्स उसमें इन्वॉल्व हो जाते हैं ऐसी जो एयर की अगर हम जैसे पार्टिकुलर मैटर की दिल्ली की बात करें हम तो अगर हम मान लीजिए सारे सोर्सेज ऑफ पोल्यूशन दिल्ली के निकाल भी दें तब भी आप देखेंगे यहाँ पे पोल्यूशन लेवल्स रहेंगे क्योंकि जो जैसे पराली का उदाहरण दिया आपने ऐसी जो सोर्सेज ऑफ पोल्यूशन है वो उनका खाली लोकलाइज नहीं है वो ट्रांसबाउंड्री ट्रांसपोर्ट भी पोल्यूशन का होता है तो इसीलिए जो है इसमें हमारा कुछ ऐसा कुछ विचार हमारा है कि हम ऐसे जो अलग अलग स्टेक होल्डर हैं उनके साथ मिलकर के कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव कुछ हम करें एयर के एयर के एरिया में सर्टनली इसमें एक वो है और जहाँ तक एग्रीकल्चर की बात है ये इनफैक्ट जो स्मार्ट एग्रीकल्चर जोन एप्लीकेशन आई थिंक प्रोफेसर इंदू इज इन्वॉल्व इन सो हाउ ड्रोन कैन बी डिप्लॉय फॉर यू नो आप थोड़ा बताएंगे Drones can go there and visualize the situation, and from there we will be able to, like from the video itself, we may be able to uh, relate the moisture content and uh, maybe if there is any fault in the fruit or in the leaf, all these things can be identified and accordingly solutions can be done. Small work has been already done in this by the students and it is published also, but anyway it has to be converted into. Uh, 
you know so that you know just by sensing the you know the red light gets activated so likewise there are like traffic air pollution problems solid waste management so the idea is answering specific your question is basically you know one what we are trying to do is we are trying to institutionalize this as a as a policy that for different branches of engineering we conduct a competition of you know listing out of the the, the, the problems in the urban and rural areas this problem also are identified by the by the students themselves and obviously we form a committee of you know experts uh, from the teaching fraternity as well as from the government uh, that we have to actually work out in the composition of that committee and uh, assess the worthiness of a problem where the where dtu inputs uh, can make the difference so that is one then there are certain problems which like for example defense related problems which are listed idex you know are listed there and then you know uh, so those problems are already you know uh, are there so that also we add to our list of problems and then you know uh, list, uh, make a priority of you know the, the most important one the less one and based on that allocate those problems among the students uh, you know for the dtech mtech or you know if the normality of the problem is big uh, we can convert that into a phd problem also I mean, requiring more uh, survey more analysis you know that is how similarly that like, you know uh, if it requires only say for example a ground work of say two or three months then you know you can convert that into a minor project so, so i mean this is how uh, the, the problem identification initial plans are these things certainly we will reach out to you know uh, people who are in the field uh, so that you know we get uh, from them and again you know getting engaging with the media is also because you know the media knows much more than you know the an ordinary person knows and they are highlighting the problems uh, faced by the society so we will reach out to to you also i mean the media also in order to know where you know we can we can you know uh, our interventions can and sir another related question to this is most of the research many times it happens it never reaches the people mm-hmm. it, it is done and it is stays in the lab it doesn't reach them. and sometimes when it reaches it doesn't match up to the you know, challenges of the law. So do you have some project, you know, some pilot project that would take care of that? that would, because that is important. Yeah, it's a feature. It's very free. In this conference, mein, what we have done is that there is a triangular solution project. Okay. Uh, what we have learned from my, you know, the last 40 years experience, especially in product design, so uh, the first thing is that suppose you say you need something okay but only you need it. so it doesn't matter to the society but because only you need it. let's say 10 of you need it. and then hundreds of you need it. then there will be a person who says okay okay there is a market for 10 or 100 or 200 300 people so he finds out solution so the idea is that there is a uh, people, there are people in this conference who have problems. Okay, they belong to society, they don't know how to solve it. They have problems and there are people who can solve this. And there are people who can fund this. So this makes it, and the, the last one is the center of that, you know, uh, triangle. And that center means that commercialization. So finally, the fourth node <coughs> is the commercialization. See, we uh, we cannot avoid until there is a com- commercialization means it is a needed product. Yeah. So once we commercialize it, so we have one product in this which can be commercialized, and we are trying to you know we are inviting people also in this, and probably you know if it's a you know. Uh, it's going on discussion. If he is ready, uh, then it can be commercialized. So, like this, you know, every product next year, when we take up these products and then we solve it, and the next year we meet and then we'll say, okay, fine, you know, now we are meeting for commercialization. So, this is our objective not to stop here. 
sir. Yes, you know, one more thing, you know, what you mentioned is typically is we also observe that, say, for example, <coughs> a student works on an MTech project or an MTech project, and somebody, you know, exceptional gets published in a, a scientific uh, technological journal. And obviously, the student also feels good, the faculty also feels good. But as you have rightly mentioned, you know, the incubation of that finding and getting converted into some tangible outcome is substantial. So you are, as researchers, we are incrementally contributing to the research domain and the steps that we take, you know, small, small steps. And these small steps taken by multiple researchers result in an outcome, which basically the manifestation of that takes place after a few years. Now, what we are trying to do is basically that also, it, this, uh, this process also has its own place. Because whatever you know, <coughs> the quality of life that gets improved because of the technology and information has happened because of these small, small incremental steps taken by multiple contributors. So, in this case, what we are trying to do is pick up a problem, a typical problem, and then work on that and provide a solution. So that you know who, uh, and you can actually, uh, the gap between the identification of problem and solution of the problem is minimal. And obviously, the somebody who is working on that also gets the satisfaction of you know seeing the seeing that solution become becoming actionable. And for making it actionable, obviously, we need the support of the the uh, the local urban bodies or the government bodies, or you know, I mean, or industry, for example, in case the scaling up is to be done. And venture capitalists who get interested in uh, identifying, okay, this has the this solution has a potential of, you know, scaling up and, you know, uh, you know, diffusing in the society. That is what we're like. Yes. As you mentioned, the 30 organizations have been proposed here. Uh, the project works between 1.86 crore. Do you know a few key uh, organizations who are going to participate in the... Yeah, this one, uh, ITP, few of them. Oh, I have already given the, you know, uh, Newsletter, a few of them. I know. <coughs> one is the ITP, so they are my uh, students, and uh, one Dr. Umang, you know, is our PhD pass out case. And he had been there. They, uh, after discussion, they started the problems. So they had uh, they had been given two, so in two products to be designed. One is for, like, for example, their transfer, transformer. They designed transformer. This is one of the products. But they say that when they use the transformer in the circuit, it gets heated up. So you design a circuit that when we have a production, then we should test in such a manner so that it doesn't happen. So the reason and then finally the test bed to be designed. Another thing is the automation. There is a, you know, everything happens in manufacturing process. Everything happens in a sequence. So from one shop to another shop, the, you know, articles have to be moved as soon as the, you know, that uh, box of articles is full. So it has to be carried and other things have to be automated.